Mandy. I am here with another Do It At Your Desk Wednesday. We're going to do another chair yoga flow today. I'm actually going to be turning myself sideways to a profile so that you can see today's flow. So to start off, I'm going to turn myself around and I want to focus on the alignment that we want when we're sitting at a chair doing yoga and even during our work day when we're working. So what we don't want to be doing is slumping back because that is going to cause all this compression on the belly. So we're not getting a lot of really good breath in. So we want to sit up nice and tall. Our back is off of the back of the chair. So my feet are flat and noticing that my knees are over my ankles. My knees and hips are in the same line and my shoulders are over the hips. So I'm making this little 90 degree angles here. So sitting up nice and tall. And you can start, place your palms onto the tops of your thighs, close your eyes. And we're just gonna start with three nice, deep breaths here. So big breath in, exhale through the nose. Two more times, inhale in, exhale out. One more time, big breath in. Maybe even suck a little more air in, hold at the top. And then let it all out. All right, take a nice big breath in. Inhale, reach the hands on up, maybe look between the hands. And on your exhale, we're going to take a twist over to our right. So I'm going to utilize my chair here for a little extra leverage. My left hand is outside of my right thigh. My hand is behind my back. And I'm just going to take a nice big breath in again, really keeping my back nice and straight. So my crown of the head is all in line with my spine. Take a big breath in, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. And then exhale, look off of your shoulder. Big breath in. Exhale, look off the shoulder. One more time, big breath in and look off the shoulder. So I'm also going to utilize my chair designed to give myself a little leverage. So I'm going to reach behind here and grab it from the back. However your chair is, you can play around. If you have arms on your chair, you might want to put that left hand onto your arms to play around and work a little deeper into that twist. Take one more breath in. Exhale. Now I'm going to place my left hand on top of my thighs and reach my right arm up to the sky. So this is a little variation of a side angle pose here. So I'm sitting here in my side angle pose, big breath in. I'm going to reach my fingertips up to the sky. If I want to take it a little deeper, I'm going to work to bring my fingertips up and over. As I'm doing this, I'm twisting my body. So I'm thinking about spinning my heart up to the ceiling here to get a nice big twist in. Twists are awesome. They're very detoxifying. They actually help to energize us and help to promote some digestion. So we're doing this after lunchtime. So this is a good way to help to promote a little bit of movement in the digestive tract. So big breath in. Exhale, great. We're gonna sit on up nice and straight, bring the arms up overhead. Big breath in. While we're here, let's interlace the hands. Take a nice big inhale in, flip the palms up to the ceiling. And then on our exhale, twist over to the other side. So sorry, you have to listen to me talking from behind here. So we're just gonna take that nice big breath here. Exhale, take your twist two more times. Big breath in. Exhale. And one more time, big breath in. Exhale. I'm going to deepen my twist, utilizing my chair here. And then I'm going to come into my side angle variation. So forearm onto thigh, reach the left hand up to the sky here, or take that nice big breath in and then reaching those fingertips up and over here. Again, twisting my heart up to the ceiling, looking underneath my bicep. Big breath here. And exhale. Coming on up here again, reach the hands up to the ceiling, interlace the hands, flip the palms up to the sky, take a nice big breath here, exhale. Two more times, big breath in, big stretch of the body, exhale, and one more time, big breath in, and exhale, release. We're gonna come to a couple rounds of cat cow breathing variation here at our chair. So to start off, let your palms rest on top of the thigh. As you take your nice big breath in, you want to think about puffing your chest forward here, pulling your shoulders back. So you're really, really bringing that chest out, kind of like a proud pigeon here. Big breath in. And on your exhale, you're going to tuck your chin into your chest and think about rounding up the spine and scooping out the belly here. So big breath in. And then exhale, round and scoop, let all that air out. Big breath in. And exhale. 
So this is great to help open up the spine. It also helps to open our lungs up so we get some nice big fresh breath in and exhaling. So getting that fresh oxygen, some blood helps to be very energizing. All right. So from here, we're going to take a nice big breath in. One more time, reach the hands on up and then exhale, take a nice forward fold. So we like forward folds here at our chair because it's a great way to get some fresh oxygen into the brain and let it just kind of all hang out here. And shake the head out, nice and loose, awesome. And then slowly start to roll yourself up, take a little hair flip, and then we're gonna work on coming into some warrior poses today at our chair. So the best way I like to work on that, and this is really helpful if you're at a chair that doesn't have arms on it. So if you have arms, you can move them out of the way or maybe find um, another seat where there's no arms. It just helps to move around. So to do the warrior pose, I like to move myself over. So essentially one butt cheek is hanging off of my chair. One is still on, so I'm nice and supported. I'm gonna take a nice big breath in. Exhale, come back down to that forward fold. Step my right foot back, and I'm gonna just spin that back foot down. So I'm setting up for a warrior one pose here. And then inhale, come on up. So again, notice, I'm nice and supported here on my chair. Taking that nice big breath in, and just take a moment to sink into this warrior one. So this is a pose that's very gratifying, really about just taking that time to connect with yourself and your body. And then we're going to come to warrior two. So I'm just going to open my arms up parallel. And I'm just going to spin my back foot a little bit so it's parallel to my back wall. And then take my gaze off of my left middle fingers here. So I'm just going to hang out here in my warrior, take some breaths. And again, noticing in your warrior, you're really hunching those shoulders up if you are. Take a big breath in and drop. There you go. Take a moment here, come to Peaceful Warrior. So my hand's gonna come to the back of my thigh. Just reach on up here. Take a nice little back bend. Just feels really good. Again, opening up all this left side of the body, spreading open the rib cage. And then exhale, we'll come back into that side angle pose now. So just like we did before in that little warm up. Now coming into that full pose. Again, reaching the fingertips up to the sky or coming on in here to that full expression of the pose. Again, I'm spinning my heart under. Thinking about facing upwards towards the ceiling. Big breath here. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. Awesome. And then take a moment here, hang out in our warrior two one more time. It's just such an awesome, powerful pose. And then spin or cartwheel the hands on down. And then you're just gonna kind of shimmy yourself on over to the other side. And again, one butt cheek is going to kind of hang on to the chair. One's going to hang off. I'm going to take a nice big breath in, step my left foot back, spin my left heel down, come up to my warrior one. Now, one other thing you're going to notice is I'm wearing work clothes today. So I want to show that you can do these workouts and exercises and yoga, no matter what it is that you're wearing. So don't let your clothing be an excuse for not getting some movement in your day. Good, opening up to warrior two pose here. And again, this is just another angle to help see me in the pose. Taking some big breaths here. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. And one more time, big breath in. Exhale, we're gonna take that peaceful warrior pose on back here. Nice big opening here in the rib cage. Getting some compression in the back of the, on the left side of the body. Good, find your way into that side angle pose now. So my forearm's gonna come into my thigh, reaching on up to the ceiling, or taking a little deeper, coming to that full expression here. Big breaths in, and out two more times. Nice big inhale in, and out, and one more time, inhale, and out. Come back to your warrior two pose here. Cartwheel it on down. Shimmy yourself back to the center of your chair, hanging on out here. And then we're just gonna take a nice forward fold here. So you can let your hands rest flat onto the floor. You can let them come to the shins and just gently start to lift yourself up and come into that nice big forward fold. So this feels so good on the back of the legs, especially when we sit all day 
and we're not moving a lot, so getting out in here, nice deep forward fold. You can even use your hands or even your chair to help give you a little leverage. My chair's not very stable, so I'm gonna use my hands just to help to bring me a little closer and get a little deeper into the back of those legs. And then gently coming on up, finding my way into a chair pose. So two options here. You can just work to hover yourself over your seat, or if that is not feeling so good, you can actually sit yourself down here, work into chair pose, and again, think about really pulling that um, navel into the spine, lifting yourself up, or challenge yourself and just lift that booty up just a little bit. Nice big breath here. Exhale two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And big breath in. Good, release. Come back into that forward fold, or you can come back down and sit at your chair and take your seated forward fold. Nice and slowly roll yourself up. Again, take a little hair flip if that is uh, in your way. And now this time, we're gonna take a couple of breaths here as we finish out our practice. This time I'm gonna flip the palms up. This is a very receptive pose, so whether there's something out there in the world you are giving and putting out there or there's something you need to receive. So closing the eyes, bring that focus right to the center of the brow and just allow the breath to be nice and steady here. And then for nice and relaxing, I'm gonna count back and allow you to just settle into your breath here. So counting on down from 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take one nice big breath in through the nose and let it all out the mouth. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for a little do it at your desk yoga. I hope that you're getting a little something out of this. If you are enjoying doing some yoga with me, do me a favor and shoot me a direct message. You can also find me on my website, mandyenright.com. And if you are interested in doing some uh, in live in person yoga with me at your place of business, I am happy to work with you to get all that set up. So again, you can find me over at mandyenright.com or shoot me a direct message here on Instagram, and I look forward to connecting with so many of you. Namaste.